What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Fantastic news coming out of New Zealand is that in June we will have rugby on our TVs again. Obviously in New Zealand the, le the, this, uh, the news that has been broken by their government is that they are moving to level 2 of lockdown this Thursday which means they will be allowed to get rugby back and up and under away. The talk is the first game kicks off Saturday 13th June allowing players four weeks or so to prepare for this tournament with contact tackling, contact tra training etc etc. It's going to be very interesting to see how these teams come back and adapt to this new type of system. Now when I say new type of system we've obviously they haven't played rugby or physical contact sport in quite some time so there's going to be a lot of concerns to watch out for and hopefully these guys ease into their training because I think if they start tackling and flattening each other straight away this could be a chance for serious injuries coming along the way because their bodies aren't used to the constant contact movement physical activity and I think it, it's going to be a risk especially in that first week or two but hopefully and I mean it's New Zealand rugby they'll have all the preparations in place in order to make sure this goes down smoothly but the fixtures have been released. I'll leave a link to this article down below in the description. Absolutely fantastic to, um, news. What's going to happen is obviously the New Zealand rugby teams are going to play in the Super Rugby, their um, local Super Rugby campaign. So they'll play each other twice, home and away. And we'll have two games on the weekend, some Saturday and some on Sunday, which is awesome. And some on both days as well. So really, really, really cracking stuff coming from New Zealand. And hopefully we can continue to see this. Obviously, this is going to be behind closed doors because obviously with it being early days and the, the, the great improvement and procedures that New Zealand have made, you don't want to risk it. I mean, we're not going to see crowds in a stadium for a very long time. I think World Rugby said 18 months uh, minimum unless they get a vaccine so it's going to be time but at least there's sport on this on the stadium one uh, sport in um, on our televisions again one of the things that's going to take a hit is obviously the stadiums because they need to maintain they got their fees to pay and obviously no crowds coming into that stadium is going to definitely cost them but hopefully more spot the sponsorships there will be at least money coming in in order to keep these um, these provinces and, and uh, Super Rugby teams afloat because they'll be getting their, obviously the, the TV deals, they'll be getting their sponsorships that are on their shirts and the players or stuff as well as um, many other things that could come into play um, going into this tournament. So fast, uh, unbelievable uh, news and hopefully sooner or later we can be reviewing and predicting um, Super Rugby matches again. I think it's going to be definitely one of the most watched because we've missed rugby for so long. And also watching New Zealand teams playing against each other is always exciting because the level of intensity, intensity that they show. And I think um, it, it's going to be awesome. I know uh, Chief Executive Mark Robinson said he's delighted for the fans and they can have top quality rugby again. And ain't that the truth? So I'm excited and I'm sure you guys are excited as well. So we can at least see some sort of live rugby on our TVs. You can only watch so many recaps. But now it's time for official live sport yet again. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. Um, obviously, I think it's great news and hopefully it all goes well. That they can um, get everything done and that there was not an increase in infections. And that New Zealand's current success rate doesn't um, dampen. But again, this won't affect them. It's... A certain amount of players, certain amount of staff, etc., etc. They're going to be social distancing. Obviously, when they're playing the match, it's a different story. But the amount of tests that they're going to have leading up to this is going to be huge. So everything will be done the right way. But I'm looking forward to seeing the Crusaders, Hurricanes, Chiefs, Blues, and the Highlanders back in form again. It's going to be awesome witnessing some live rugby again. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you real soon for another one. The fixtures are released. Check them out in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.